Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me to the start of a new campaign in Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 before the No Step Back DLC comes out for, of course, Hearts 4. Um, so I was recommended to play this campaign just because someone wanted me to go back and play Vanilla. So I figured, you know what, why not? Before the whole logistics system gets overhauled or we actually get a logistics system. But regardless, right now, I've already done one focus called Three Principles of the People. Now I also know I've played as China before when I played multiplayer with like... Taki Senpai... Doing Hammer Gaming, I think so, but... Three Principles of the People. The founder of the Republic, Dr. Sun Yat-sen, established three fundamental principles that should shape it. Minzu, Min Kwan, and Min Cheng. Nationalism, democracy, and social welfare. And nationalism. The idea of belonging to a nation rather than a tribe or religion is what turns a group of people into a state. And this time, even though we're on historical, I think we all have foreign threats that that's historical and United Front's historical, but... We're going to prioritize the interior and see how well or how poorly we can do. Before we can even entertain the notion of taking back the territory stolen from us by, J by the Japanese, we must secure the interior. Divided into a collection of regions to fight against one another, we will not stand a chance. In which, we could go anti-communism, but I'd rather go subjugate the warlords first. In a moment of weakness, local military leaders took control of large swaths of the country. It's time to remind them that they answer to us, one way or another. So really, with these warlords, we got one, two, three, four, five-ish? Five? As long as we get two out of the five, I'll feel pretty good about it. I, you know, could be could be really wrong. We need a lot of guns. We're making some anti-air as well, which is not too bad. But we could really use some artillery. We could really, really use some flipping artillery. Right now we're going. I decided not to go mass assault, which we were already started on. I prefer a grand battle plan. You get plus ten entrenchment. That's really good. A little bit more entrenchment speed. Right now we're going to go and actually we get one a day. It's not bad. Let's get more political power. One point three day. It's pretty good. We're going to keep that for the rest of the campaign, anyways. And then we'll go partial mobilization, and then we'll probably get some more land uh, army XP and stuff like that. So. I think that'd be pretty good. Yeah, we've got to prioritize interior and then subjugate the Morlords because we go and need some serious, serious army XP. I kind of do hope, though, take national leadership. Um, We actually want... No, we want that. We want army reform. Yeah, that's what we want. Corruption, incompetence, and cowardice are the rife. Are rife at every level. Command and army. So on this will be a long process, which does suck, but does help us out. So really, I, I do hope that... We go to war with these guys because they have so many resources there, and we can get this as core territory. That would actually be really good. Now we could always take them as puppet divisions, but oh, they go Spain too. I'd much rather just kill them off. I would much, 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 much rather just kill them off. So uh, we will get military affairs commission eventually for more daily army XP and maximum command power increasing as well. That's going to take some time. 1.32, not bad. So, uh, so if we get the warlords, anti-communism. I don't know how much time we're really going to have to fight those guys. I'd rather do the military affairs commission first. Our military has shown a shocking lack of competence. Reform of the high command is just the first step to rectify the issue. We're trying to build up more civvies as well. As you can tell, our guns are not doing great. We're going to need a lot of guns where we're headed, but it's only August 36, so we got a little bit of time. Not a lot of time, but a little bit of time. We've got a lot of garbage divisions. A combo with our But yeah, I hope we can take out Zhibai, Sanma, these guys, Shangxi, the usual. So, yeah, we're just gonna make like six divisions at a time. The Sun Jiao, Jun, Jun Tuan. You know, the good stuff. The very good stuff. Mm, yeah, we gotta go to. Actually, War Economy. When we go to war with Japan, we will definitely be able to go to war economy, but partially mobilization probably be good to do for slow inflation. We have incompetent officers, which sucks. We have an ineffective bureaucracy, which is fine for now. Army corruption is really bad. Nine power street, which sucks as well. And then we have German land, or German military advisors. Could be worse. Could be worse. More max plan doesn't help us immediately, but still helps us out at least a little bit. So, Ma Bufang submits. Ma Bufang sent the messenger back with his personal note, promising to strictly obey our commands and coordinate with the government. Yan Shishan submits as well. Li Zong Grand submits. We got three of them. But Long Yun refuses. Long Yun has returned our note, claiming that the central government has no legal authority to replace the provincial governor. It's accompanied by a detailed report detail on the combat readiness of his troops. And then Sheng Shikai Shi Shi refuses as well. Oh, so basically we got one, two, three. Oh, we actually... God dang it, we didn't get these guys. They have a lot of resources down there. I guess we're going to have to go after these guys first then. So be it. It's going to be really crappy fighting through here. But hopefully this gives us a lot of army XP. So since we're here, throw an influence, integrate these guys. That costs so much PP. So much. Um, honestly, I don't want to do that one. Chinese power struggle. Ooh, we could use their divisions, right? For army XP request forces. 16 is not bad. Do that with the Shang-Chi as well. 
And I beat Sean Ma. And if we take the divisions, that means that we can... Well, I'll split you up in half first. Half you guys go here. Half you guys go here. If that's the case, we might be able to just say, go against these guys, do the best you can, and don't die. And they'll be led by who? 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 And then you guys can go here and just do that. It's not a bad idea. Honestly, I'm going to need more generals too, but that's okay. Um, well, just go to partial mobilization for now, and they'll get some more daily army XP. I think that'd be a good thing to do. I could be completely wrong, though. Army reform would be good. Corruption, incompetence, and cowardice are rife at every level of command and army. Sovereignness will be a long process. Or we'll go anti-communism. Communism represents the greatest threat against our nation. It must be wiped out relentlessly. We could do that, too. But let's go ahead and kill these guys off as well. Yay! Can we get a lot of army XP here? Actually, we do have some planes here, too. Not a lot. I'm not even sure they can be able to reach these guys, but it's alright. Southern China, yes, please. Doesn't matter if you struggle or not. Call them in. So we can open up this front as well. We just need as much army XP as possible. It doesn't really matter. Grinding is usually something I hate, hate, hate. But right now, we're going to grind hard. We could get better guns, and it would be really beneficial for us to do so, but... Oh, well. Because after this, actually, maybe at the same time, we'll do this as well, and have a good old time doing it like this. And calling our allies again, especially you guys over here. So we go in immediately, immediately, so we can take out both groups here. Kunming would be very nice to grab. Maybe take out Kunming like that. 18's not bad, not bad. It's only November, though. Um, anything else? War propaganda would be pretty good. But we do need to get some more daily army speed. You know what? Get the war propaganda. We're going to need it against uh, the Japanese anyways. It's fine for now. Hey! Look at the capital. Nice. Let's go there. Cut them off. Cut them off if you can. Oh! Yunnan's gone. Just take all states. A lot easier than I thought. If that's the case, the, Ch the communist Chinese are quite difficult to take out as well, usually. So, I mean, we have all the front covered like that. It's not bad. And we're de definitely doing de relatively okay-ish here. I want you guys to go here. Ignore them for now. Encircle and destroy. That's fine. Just encircle and destroy right now. Uh, yeah. Maybe I should have done the communist one first. Because it's already December. We don't have a lot of time left. But grinding against these guys will be really good for experience. Even though fighting the Japanese is not going to be pretty difficult. Why would you look at that? Very nice. Uh, are they going to circle us here? Hopefully not yet. Anti-communism. It might be too late to do that one, but that's alright. Let's go here. There you go. Anti-communism. And then army reform, probably. So, that'd be good. Yeah. Oh, we're going to give you a general. No general there yet. That's fine. Whatever. Keep on moving in. Sin Kyung, I'm not super worried about, especially since we're using our allies' division, so... You guys go there, you guys go there, you guys go all the way down there, because you will have to eventually go all the way down there, unfortunately. And you go to Urumqi. That'd be nice. It's already January. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to take out the Ch Communist Chinese. We did get you done, though, which is pretty nice. That's pretty awesome. And if we don't have enough time, well, it'll be a good time to save then. <laughs> yeah, was it 38 or 37? I'm pretty sure it's 37 to go to war with the Japanese do. We do have our puppet divisions, which are pretty nice to have, actually. Just keep them in place. All I want you to do is keep them in place for now. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sin Kyung is going to be ours, hopefully very, very soon. Come on, get this one done, god dang it. Yeah, taking out the communist change is not easy, but... Hey, Sin Kyung is gone, nice. Awesome. I'm going to stack you guys up here, too. Actually, you know what? Screw it. No. You guys are not going to do it. I do not trust the Japanese whatsoever. So, just in case, y'all going to be defending until you basically die? How many guns we got? Negative 1,600. Not great. Uh, go recovery. He's going to have to recover pretty quickly here. And he'll grab some more army XP too. More divisions. Nice. That's probably not a good way to do this stuff, but whatever. Army reform would be nice too. Can we take out Japan this quickly? You know, I'll say it again. Screw it. Why not? We're, it's only the first 10 minutes of the video. Hope we can take out the Chinese. The communist Chinese, of course. Chinese are killing Chinese. Well, that's pretty normal. A lot of manpower, but then again, they're China still. 
17 divisions. Oh, and call all of our allies in. You will, you have to join us. Yes, 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 you have to join us. All right, everyone. Sorry about that, but actually, they were a lot less difficult for me to take out than I thought they were. We could just go straight into war and just go just barreling in on Communist China. But as you can see, um, I just made a fallback line and just really spaced it out. Call all the allies in. And, uh, for the most part, just kind of walked into Yan'an. So... Yeah, I actually, this is my third attempt doing it, and I figured, you know what, screw it, just make one gigantic fallback line, leave a lot of open territory here, and then Malice Force moved out, and uh, yeah, they are uh, gone. So, that actually worked out really, really well. Let me know in the comments below, have you tried that before? As a as China, like, you see my line here. Have you ever tried that yourself, like, just spacing them out just so they can take territory, and then just, like, I literally moved two divisions in. Uh, get to Yan'an, and then it worked. So, uh, let me know if you've, if you've done that, because that was, I'll be honest, a little a little easy. <gasps> a lot easier than just trying to force yourself into here. But, actually, that's really, really good for us, just so that now we can have enough divisions to just kind of hold all the territory, including the coast, against the Japanese garrisons, because, my God, as my third attempt here, I'm about ready to punch a hole in the wall. What else is new? But, let's see, what else are we doing here? So, you guys do that. You guys will be great. Army reforms are currently what we're doing, of course, still, which kind of sucks that we didn't get enough army reforms or arm XP. Yeah, that's not good. We have plenty of puppets. We should be able to hold against the Japanese. We should, but... Mm, let's get that military theory just in case. I can't remember if we did this off-screen or not, but we'll just do democracy just because... Well, we can't. The journey started by Dr. Sun Yat-san must eventually lead to the Republic. It will no doubt be a long journey, but we take it one step at a time. Followed up with Executive Yuan. The core of the government is executive, which executes the laws. It only makes sense that creating it is the first step uh, to creating a functional Republican government, of course. So, not bad. We're running out of fuel, but, you know, what else is new? We'll integrate a lot of stuff here. Take some national leadership. Well, we already are the leader, so it doesn't even really matter. Since we're here, we might as well train, 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 train. It really sucks that we don't have enough army XP, but, uh democracy just because we need extra political power uh, we should be able to hold yeah it's not gonna be great to do it like this mm. when the Japanese attack it's not gonna be good but this does give us a lot of time to get a lot more guns which is not bad in and of itself because I can make all you guys 12 combat with and you guys well you all suck but you guys watching don't suck unlike other people cool because I don't want to really use this division at all um, honestly I like to make you guys a little thicker but I'd rather have arm XP right now. We oh, that's not bad. Anti-air is not bad either. We do need some artillery pieces. Do we have any? Oh, we need some artillery pieces and some support equipment. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of already. And for this, that's fine for now. Stop training just because you're all gonna die. I'm gonna be honest. You're all gonna die. <laughs> we do have something for uh, naval XP, which isn't bad, but they're all gonna die regardless. But yeah, taking out Communist China is so easy if you just manipulate the AI, just taking let them take territory, and then just literally just walk in. Because I think Communist China has like 10 divisions, and there's so many tiles here they have to defend, so they just move one tile, you just walk in behind them. Which is you know, pretty good for us, pretty good. Uh, since we're here anyways, uh, we have Field Marshals that we can throw in here to help us out. Uh, I think we're an ambusher, but I guess not. So be it, so be it, so be it, so be it, so be it. Keep training for now. We need more, many more guns. We actually have quite a few guns, which is pretty darn nice. These cavalry divisions are okay. Never mind. They're, they're really bad. Uh, They're really bad. Holy crap. But garrisons ain't too shabby. Oh, yeah. We definitely don't want those guys. There we go. That's better. Uh, that's not bad. I want to use my army XP to make these guys a little thicker, but we need army reform so badly. Because having these guys do basically one in every tile is honestly probably going to be very good for us. So... Just in case. And then you guys come over here. And then you guys do that one. That'll be better. So that's a little better. So we have more like there. And the Marco Polo Bridge incident. The Japanese soldiers recently launched an attack on the strategic port Marco Polo Bridge just south of Beijing. But they were repelled by our brave soldiers. No doubt this is an orchestrated event that aimed at place placing blame on us and forcing us to surrender more territory. Just like the Mukden incident when the Japanese invaded. I'm not sure how she respond. We cannot afford a war with Japan? Of course not. And now they're going to go to war with us. Yay, we're going to lose Beijing. Yay, but... And there we go. Uh, yeah, we probably want to stop training. Hopefully we get a lot of army XP through here, though. Oh my goodness, that is so not good. Who's the, who the heck is attacking? Your ding dongs don't attack right now. Uh, see, this, this is exactly what you have to do. You have to deploy divisions here just in case. Because even then, 
It's just, this is going to be a, a mother effort. I hate this so much. I like, guess this, this is not easy to do. That's a lot of divisions. That, they're definitely going to be losing here, which sucks. But you have, you have to garrison the entire coast. You have to. That's going to suck so hard. Mechanical computing. It's a bit of reinforce rate. Uh, we're getting more army XP, which I love, love, love. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why I went with the infantry guy here, so. Grand battle plan's not too bad. More max plan. Let's grab some prepared defenses for more division, organization, and defense. Uh-oh. What's going on here? How would y'all just hold and then rearrange yourselves? Oh, they oh, they were defending right there. Okay, that makes sense. Then. Uh, I don't know if we actually win there. Um, A lot of PP. Let's get some more organization. That could help out. Uh, obviously, defense would be good, but that, uh, that helps, us, helps us out on attack and defense, so... We'll see. We'll definitely see, 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 see. Keep holding out, baby boys. We've lost only 5,000. Guangxi Clique, we are definitely not calling in. We'll call in Saibi Zanma, though. Because we can. See, this is why I didn't want you guys here. Can you leave? Oh, you died. Okay. Oh, my God. They, they got they got mega destroyed. But, hey, 105 ain't too bad. We're still holding out pretty darn well here, but... You might need to extend the line a little bit more, sons. Honestly, I'd rather just lose Beijing. I, we're losing factories here, but we can spread out our divisions, and we really need to. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to really make sure you got enough defenses here to help hold up the line and stuff like this, so. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about attacking. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys, there you go. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, that's fine. Works out sort of well for us. Cool. Not bad. All right. Come on, let them keep attacking us. Keep Let them keep attacking us. Oh, you guys go right there, right there, right now. We need that army XP. Yes, please keep attacking. Please, 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 please. And hopefully we can de defend everywhere we need to. You know, this guy's an offensive guy, so put him on defense for now. Whatever. More de defense is pretty good, though. War of resistance. Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, Bureau of Investigation Statistics, so we can get some more stability. We cannot allow traitors and spies to run around the country while we are engaged in a war for the future of our nation. The methods employed by this new agency may seem unpleasant, but the work still needs to get done. Pretty much. Pretty much. Followed up with what? Mm, Wampoa Military Academy. An army is useless without proper leadership. If we want to turn our military into a force of the first rank, we must have well-trained officers to lead it. Yeah. Seriously, but like, when I took a communist China, like, that was my third attempt. I've been playing this for like two hours already, even though we're only like less than 20 minutes into this. I've been playing this for like two hours, and I've been pissed off so much with this campaign so far already. <laughs> but you sometimes gotta try things out. Try things out. Uh oh, oh, shnikey, rocky suckers. That's not good. It's not good. It's not good. No. I just want army reform, please, please. Come on. God dang it. Yay! We're getting the first army reform in about three months. God dang it, that's so far away though. Oh yeah, they're still trying, baby. They're still trying. Um, they did take Beijing. Hopefully, they get a lot more resistance there. I kind of doubt you guys could do anything here, really. But you know what? That's okay. We get a lot more army XP too, as long as we don't lose. Oh, we need more guns. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's very not good. Nice, very nice. Still trying to naval bay. That's fine. Hey, you know what? I'll take whatever we can get in terms of army XP. But now that we have more PP. We could integrate the Guangxi army. Huh. You know what I want to do? Let's get some more stability. I want to choose Li San because that's someone I would never choose. And so it gives us more pop, uh, political power, consumer goods, output, resistance in our you know, states and stuff like that. So that's not bad. Bureau of Investigation Statistics. Wampo would be great to have. Let's go and fortify Shanghai as well. If Japan attacks, first blow will fall on Shanghai. We've got to be prepared, which makes a lot of sense. But we're making some really, really old guns, which is not very good. Would you like to attack again and sacrifice yourselves for the good of China? Of course you would. Of course you would. Ah, please, please, please. Overall, not too bad. Like, this is a lot easier than... Oh my god, when I tried it earlier. So much easier. Because right now, those army reforms... Here's the National Spirits again. Um, Nine Powers Treaty. Army Corruption is so god-awful for us. I, I Honestly, I said this when I, when I was playing off-screen. Or technically on-screen when I was complaining a lot. I want more there be more naval invasions. Please. Please hurt us harder. Please, daddy. Wait, wait uh Oh yeah, I ask and we'll be given. Oh, yeah, a lot more smackdowns. Nice. Nice. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, that's so not nice. 
Just keep on holding out, boys and girls. Do the best you can, and that's why we're not calling Guangxi Clique into the, uh, the thing here. It's not worth calling them in. Uh, War Bonds could be pretty good, too, actually. Ooh, we should be thinking more stuff than that. 90, 20, 30. 30 is not terrible. I'll make some more millies if you can. If we need to, we can deploy these guys early. It's fine. There you go. There you go. Do the best you can. As long as they're not lately landing on us. Oh yeah, get max. Oh yeah, ambush would be so good. What about y'all? Nothing here, huh? Anschluss? That's fine with us. War resistance. We are not yet strong enough to carry the war to the Japanese. We must resist invaders until such a time that we can go on the attack again. Very good. Oh, please. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, they took another towel. That sucks. That's why we become, become ambushers. And I would like to integrate some of these armies, too. Keep defending, guys. You're doing a great job. Hmm. Horse boys, there you go. Not bad. This is so much better than earlier. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how much I was complaining. Actually, some of you guys, if you follow my channel, you know how much I can complain sometimes. Casualties, though, 73,000. Basically nothing. 226,000. Not bad. Not bad so far. Uh, type 24 is Japanese operative captured. Uh, Song Mai. It's not bad for this guy, but I don't choose someone I normally choose. So soon. I normally probably wouldn't choose her, so. 38. Get some more. Oh, we forgot about output. Well, that's terrible of me. And I'm not going to get rid of this because we're out of guns already, so. Mm, are we close to. Yeah, we can get some more army reforms. That'd be good. That'd be very good. Oh, yes. Please keep on attacking. Please, please, please make me happy. I wonder if we could win here. I kind of would like to see if we could. We'll give us more army XP. Well, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, a little bit of a yes, no, maybe so. Little, just a little bit of that. Just waiting for a little bit more army from a little bit more. Oh, the Burma Road, look at that. And in order to aid our war against the Japanese, Britain has improved the infrastructure and constructed air bases along our Burmese border. Repel them, running doggerinos. Not bad. Could be better, but not bad. Please don't lose over that river, because if they start breaking over that river, we're going to suck a little harder. A little harder than we don't. We normally would like to suck. Uh, yeah, you go right there. Over here, it sucks, but... Oh, hello. Uh, unified, unified industrial planning? Our aggressive program of industrialization must not be de delayed. Oh, absolutely not. Nice. More organization defense. Yes, please, sir. Yes, sir. Because these guys are 12 combos. Okay, that's not good. You know what? We don't have enough already, but we'll do it anyways. Go, go. See what we can do with that limited anti air that we do have. I can one if you want to. That's fine. So that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I would like to throw some engineers on here, too. Hopefully get some more army XP, though. Oh, we got some stuff here, too, eh? Army regrouping, recovery... Yeah, screw it. We need to recover a little faster. Ah, I was hoping that some of the guys here would be able to give us some guns. They are slowly spreading out here, which is not very good for us. Casualties, 150,000 versus 200,000. Still could be worse. Um, yeah, so they are advancing. Which is, of course, very bad for us, but still. Uh, investor evacuations. They can do Scorcher's tactics. In a struggle for national survival, the, nothing is unthinkable, and every option must be, of course, considered. Or we'll do this one. Expand the Acad Academia Sinica. For millennia, China has led the world in development of the arts and sciences. And increased funding for our uh, universities is just first steps to claim that position. Not bad. Any other upgrades? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How many guns do we have? 10,000? 12,000? That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, not gonna lie. Still pretty bad, though. Hey, don't worry about it. Just hold there. Just hold. It's fine. The more they spread out, the more guns they're gonna need. Nice. 
I get some more army reform plans next too. Keep trying to invade. As long as they don't go to war with Guangxi clique itself, well, I think we'll be okay. Oh, hello. Well, that's not good. Oh crap, this is really turning out to be a good thing now, is it? Hmm. Hmm. As long as they don't continually navally invade, well, it's, it's, as long as we can repel naval invasions, that's the most important thing. So for you guys, you guys start doing this one. There you go. Which is fine, just hold the line. That's all I want you to do. Hold the line. You guys can retreat. That's totally fine for now. Um, we could probably do it war commie. Yeah. Gonna need a few more millies. Need more guns. You know the good stuff. The normal stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about attacking. The more they take, the harder it is for them to defend everything, so. 52. Munich agreement. Uh, goodbye. Oopsie. Nice. Let's keep holding out. We've lost 230,000, so be it. Nice. Uh, infrastructure, that's not bad. Six division plan. Ooh, War of National Liberation. With the Japanese is all defeated, we can go on the offensive and liberate all of our territory. Well, I'm not sure what territory we have to liberate because we're kind of sucking hard right now, but that's alright. That is A-OK. -okay. Y'all come here and then y'all come right there. Thank you very much. If you can. Another division. Thank you. These guys are looking only bad just because we made these guys bigger, right? Yeah, got an anti-air, got a little artillery. Guns looking pretty, honestly, pretty bad right now, but whatever. Um, honestly, let's start integrating, like, Wong, not Guangxi, but uh, JIB, whatever it's called. Improvement machine tools. Construction speed 2. I don't know how they can keep it up. I mean, how much resistance? They should have quite a bit of resistance here. It should not be going down at all. How are we losing? That's my question. Like, I get it that we don't have, you know, air superiority and stuff, but, like, bro, seriously. Like, bro. Ah, good. More army reform. Seriously? Dudes, you guys suck so hard. I don't understand why we're losing so many guns. Oh, because we're not making nearly as many. We need a lot of steel. Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense then. There you go. Now we should be making plenty of guns. A hundred and some a day. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guns every week. So now we should be doing okay. No wonder we were sucking so hard earlier. No wonder. My bad. Let's go look at your production management. Alright, so no. I don't like this, but we have to keep this back on. Just because there's way too many tiles here. So we're going to lose quite a few guns here doing like this, but whatever. It is what it is. It'll be what it'll have to be. Oh my god. That's why I don't play vanilla. Uh, let's go and start integrating with the Ma army. Yeah, might as well. We'll take the Ma army for now. War of National Liberation. Scorch Earth Tactics. We could do that. Or we could go ahead and get some more mining company stuff. Financial policy. The state's finance is not particularly solid. The ambitious program to government raise the specter of runaway hyperinflation. Financial reform must be one of our first priorities. 39, it's almost 39. Oh god, let's get some of that too. I guess we got three research slots, that's pretty good. So we've lost about 300,000, they've lost more than us, which is actually pretty decent. As long as they don't actually fully naval invade us. So. Um, you all alright, y'all. There you go, good. Alright, so now we're at minus 15,000, which is so much better than earlier. Holy crap, so much better than earlier. Oh my goodness. So much man, how strong is, are the Japanese right now? Less than a million manpower, which is good. Uh, they got a couple different types of divisions. They're out of guns. Oh, that's very good. Oh, that's so nice to see. This over here is very, 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 very concerning. Why are you not guarding your territory? What is going on? Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so bad right now. You're literally not a lot, allowed to not lose. Come over here and just hold the god dang port. That's all we need. We need the port, god dang it. Oh my god, don't lose it. Don't lose it up here. Oh my god, that's so bad. Get down here. Get down here. 
Oh, whew. Okay, go in there. Whew, whew, whew. That is, that is very concerning. Holy goodness. So bad. Don't let him get that port. God dang it. Don't, don't let him get the port. Oh, we were defeated. Don't, oh, don't let them move. Do not let them move. Do not let them get in there. If anything, do not let them get in there. Oh, we got him. Okay. Whew. Hopefully. Hopefully. Press controls. The first step to keep inflation under control is to ensure the good good key goods are sold at fixed prices. It doesn't have to be popular with the merchant class, which is fine. Whatever. Give more output. Yes, please. Kill them off. Every last one of these scum suckers got to die. And integrate the Shang-Chi army as well. Press controls followed up with a form of the National Bank. I will get a grain tax. Much better consumer goods, such as stability wars, but that's all right. Some government issue notes have less and less purchasing power. Soon we won't be able to feed our armies anymore. We can institute a new law that the peasants must pay the taxes in grain, thus bypassing the market. They won't like that, and there's a danger of this leading to a full-blown famine. Well, hopefully that would be really bad, but my hope is that we avoid it. We just hope for a lot of things here, that's all. Okay, so this is distracting a lot of divisions from the front, which is super bad. But we're still China, and China is still China-ing. Welcome to China. I'll be your tour guide. We're, we're probably going to end up butchering hundreds, if not millions of people. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people are going to die here. Today. It's all going to be your fault. Welcome to China. Oh, please stop it. Please stop invading us. Uh, that's why I didn't want to do this campaign. I hate the naval invasions that China does for against us. I hate it. Are we doing on guns, though? Oh, we're doing so much better on guns. Oh, my goodness. So much better. Can you actually go there? That'd be great if you could. <gasps> oh, yes. Very nice. Keep getting that army XP. Are we... What? 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 Are we gonna invade it up there? Oh, hello. Oh, crap. That is not good. Not good. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Vegetable Slovakia. I hate this part so much just because it's not very good for us. Go there and circle them. You can destroy two divisions if you possibly can. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, hello. Would you like to meet our Lord and Savior, uh, Dr. Sun Yat Sen? Just please don't let them get a port. For the love of God, do not let them get a port. We should have them. We should have them. Grand taxes? Yes, please. And then, or from the national banking sector, no, we're going to wait first and scorch your tactics. And struggle for national survival, but nothing is unthinkable and every option must be considered. Uh, War bonds are pretty good to take, actually. We need more industry. Oh, would you look at that. A total of four divisions will have died here. If we can get at least, like, up here, that'd be so good. If we could take that, that would be great. Did they invade us? Oh, oh, they're trying. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, persnickety son of a sandwich. Please don't. Oh, no! Okay, I thought that was a port. I'm like, oh, my God, no. No, 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 no. That was a very wet no. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, no, we need... Oh, we need 200. Okay, that's not bad. Or snickety sandwich. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you uh, speak about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Thank you. There you go. If you can get in there and actually win, that'd be awesome, but I kind of doubt that they can, which sucks. So, son of a gun, you keep doing that, please. Thank you very much. Um, can you actually push him in here? That'd be quite bueno if you could. Look at that. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> At least you're guarding it for now. Get these fellas in place if you possibly can. That would be delightful. 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 Please win there. Please, 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 please. please. Oh, you can't win there. God dang it. Can't. Struggling to win over here, too. Hey, did they join the German Reich? We don't really give a crap, though. Why do we got another, like, another uh, thing of that? Thank you very much. 
Shang-Chi, thank you. Yeah, they're desperately trying to hold on to this place. I can't imagine they have a lot of guns, I'll be honest, man. Grain taxes are nice, though. Scorched Earth, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. But after that, their grain tax, Scorched Earth, Forced Conscription... We could do that, or we could do welfare. We might as well. A uh, modern state looks after its citizens, so that in a time of need, the citizens will be able to be able and willing to defend it. Oh, thank God we just made sure that we... Defend. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how strong is that? Oh, that's pretty normally strong. Why are we suffering from attrition here? I don't understand. Is this not our own state? Do we not own this? Hey, look at that. We suck. How are they not suffering attrition yet we are? That makes literally no sense. What the heck? Do that then if you have to. IMRO, so be it, so be it. Alright, so we've lost about the same amount as they have. So be it, whatever. They have a few guns left. Hmm. Scorch Earth, huh? Nice. Oh, their factories. Uh, which one are we doing? Force Conscription? No. Welfare. Yeah, Welfare's next. Followed up with, let's go to the right side now, finally do invite foreign investors. Humiliating though it may be, the best way to industrialize our nation is by approaching the very people who have been exploiting us. <sighs> Come hurt me more, daddy. Oh, I like it when you when you keep beating us. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, Japan really hasn't unleashed their full strength yet. And there's nothing we can really do, we're just holding here. Maybe get some logistic companies. Poland refuses, and World War II is starting, basically. I've been doing really, really well in guns. If that's the case, feeling a little uh, ambitious. Oh, God. Speech. Nah, we're okay. We're with Germany. We're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Thank you. Wow, that cost us a lot of guns. About 10,000 guns to throw in one more battalion here. Oh, boy. All right. So what are we going to do here? We can do that. Anything here around here? Supplies looking a little better around here. Not concerned about that upper portion here. Really at all. Nice. Welfare. And we're already... Let's get some more output, because we can still use more output. We can always use more output. Um, These guys just going to go suicide more and more and more. Suicide, yum, yum, yum. We almost immediately start losing. We have way too many planes. We, have, we need an Air Force. China needs a lot. I wish this was divided up better so we actually, like, garrison things better and stop, instead of wasting lives and guns. So, yeah, that kind of sucks. Do you have any upgrades? I mean, you, you should have learned something, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, you can go infantry expert, actually, for you. Fall of Warsaw, that's cool. What's the world looking like? Germany is just touching Poland in the front, all over the front, and then the USSR is just kind of like, sucks to be Polish! <laughs> Oh, wow, they're fast. Cool, so after that... Uh, let's do a mission to the U.S. China has led strong allies in the U.S. They represent the best chance of getting support we need. Not bad. Not bad at all. I want to attack, but there's literally no point to attack. We've got to get rid of lessons of war to get rid of some of this garbage stuff here. we got low inflation, which is fine. A grain tax, which actually helps us out quite a bit. As much as fun as infrastructure is... Uh, I could probably build ourselves up maybe a little bit more than that, maybe. Get one mini, milli, one civvy at all times, maybe at this point. That'd probably be beneficial. Oh, sure thing, we'll take some more guns. And our, oh, and artillery, too. Integrate the Shang-Chi administration. Uh, yeah, we might as well. Bulgaria join the Axis. Oh, no, whatever will they do? There goes Belgium's. I'd like one Belgium, please, and one Luxembourg daddy. Can we do anything here yet? I mean, I'm just trying to get some more army XP real quick, so. Construction 3, get some more cap as well. Well, at least at the very least, we did stall them out, so. Eh, it could be worse. Wait, why do we... We should not be importing anything like that. Ah, France sucks, that's why. That's better. Alright, just, you always gotta keep an eye on, on everything else here. Uh, help us with supply eventually, that'd be nice. I'm glad I didn't go mass assault, even though it would help us with the recovery rate quite a bit more. Uh, we'll just go and integrate the Shang-Chi administration. 
They lose cores, we get cores. It's a win-win. Hey, we actually won. Look at that. Oh, we lost. Huh. Oh my god, what is up with all the speeches? We got fight on the peaches? Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Churcho, Churcho, dude. Yeah, it's almost... I'll, I'll be playing on the beaches, probably. Oh, wait. What happened to... Oh, the army XP! Oh, the land auction took the army XP. God dang it. Nah. Why do you pain me so? Actually, reform the National Bank. We could do that one. A new National Bank will coordinate all financial activities of the government and provide the necessary funding. Not a bad idea. Minus 6.9 thousand? Nice. Artillery's actually looking not too bad. Alright, we must be making more divisions too here. Eh, maybe not that many. Yeah, go and do that one so we can get some more consumer goods and factory output. That'd be pretty nice to make. Eastern China, huh? How are you all doing? Doing okay? Oh, well, Paris has fallen not in 1940 yet. Hey, it's Christmas in Paris. And then the death of Rudolph Hess. Sucks to be you two. Well, the Rock is doing pretty darn well. No one has buffs or anything like that. Except, well, not even us. They're fine. I don't care, Churchill. I'm sorry. America. Oh, yeah, America. We love America. As long as we get them supplies to us. Actually, how much longer do we have to wait? 50 days is not too bad. Yeah, once Japan starts going to war with more people, then it'll be much easier. Soviet stuff, torpedo cruisers. Uh, still get 1.114, so that's not bad. Full integration of Zaibi Shanmal. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the world of integration? Oh, that's all. That's terrible. That's so bad. God dang, I want to get rid of lessons of war, but still. Get a little bit every day, which is not great. The Danish are gone. As they should be gone. Yeah, whatever. I understand. We lost. Whatever. Not bad. It could be a lot worse here, actually. Synthetic oil. It is 1940, so we might as well grab that already. Oh, this is just so sad. I mean, Japan, you went to war with us. You should go to... You should fight us. Come kill us. Stop trying to naval invade us. Do straight... Warfare maneuver against us. We are lonely, uh, and I mean we're alone, and we have nothing. Please come tap us. Um, I wonder if we actually do anything here. Kind of doubt it. Oh, hello. Yeah, no. Yeah, our guys suck. Oh, do we actually make enough stuff? Ah, oh, it's looking quite a bit better. I'm sorry that not much is really happening. There's really not much we can do right now. From the National Bank. Ooh. Mission of the good old US of A. Investment in shipbuilding. Now, fighter purchases. That kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, that stuff is just not worth it. Mission of the USSR. Uh. Increases inflation. Well, we could do some refugee relief, get more war support, I guess. We're gonna do industrial evacuations. A modern war is one in the factories. An army without guns is nothing but a group of people with silly hats. Even if they have hats. Who said they had hats? Oh, God, I'd love to have a hat. Actually, I do have a hat. It's a very nice hat. It wasn't too expensive, that's why it's nice. Someone was wounded, so be it. Oh, we actually made it. I like it. Oh, look at that, huh? So what is Japan up to now? It's March 1940, of course. First air fleet. And they're just doing nothing. Okay. They're literally just doing nothing. Which is dumb and stupid, but whatever. Guns looking quite a bit better. Anti-air could use quite a little bit of a boost. A boost. Actually, if anything, these guys could use maybe a few engineers. Wink, wink. But then again, we ain't researched what engineers are. So I have no idea what I'm talking about. All about them horsey boys. See if you can do that and go there. Oh, see, now all about the horsey boys. Now can you go in? No? Hmm. Straight up annex them if you can. More horsey boys? Who's saying happy guys here? What if we could do? Could we bathe them in? Here, you guys, you guys take a vacation. And by vacation, take a walk. 
Uh, go in if you possibly can as well. You, you're pretty bad, actually, so I don't know why I'm setting you in. Armored operations? Nice. Oh, no! No, we lost that army speed. God dang it. Meh. Meh. Why did I do that? Oh, why do you pay me so much? Yeah, that's kind of sucks. I was just kind of sitting here waiting for things to happen. Um, let's we'll see what happens with the mission to the U.S. Force conscription name too bad. Relief. Uh, industrial evacuation. I'll read a couple more off screen just to get some stuff done. It's constitutional reform. The problems facing us today stem in part from the lack of a constitution that reflects the reality of China. We must rectify this. Force conscription. Our current recruitment methods don't produce enough soldiers to meet our demands. Defeating this war means annihilation, so we must ask even more of our people. And dare to die, Corps. Let's struggle for the Republic has already created plenty of martyrs. There'll be plenty more of it before it's over. Their sacrifice will be remembered by generations to come. And republicanism. Many in the West wonder if we are sincere about becoming a republic after the Western model. We should make a public declaration about our intentions. But I think I'm going to end it here just because this is pretty boring. And oh, now that I say that, now they're attacking again. Are you kidding me? But regardless, I'm going to end it here and just kind of keep going on off screen. How did we do this? Hello there. Regardless, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know how you would play Nationalist China, especially in preparation of uh, for for the war with the Marco Polo Bridge incidents against the Japanese. Let me know in the comments below. Regardless, thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.